Hey guys, it's 007 here, and today we're going to talk about how to do the Cobra Maneuver within War Thunder. Uh, briefly, I just want to talk about uh, how grateful I am for all the support and comments that you guys did. I tried to respond to every one that I could, you know, those that I could find. Uh, really, thanks for all the feedback and all that. Honest, Honestly, it, it just really, really helps. And I'm glad that it, you know, took off in a way... I mean, it exploded. Let's let's be honest here. You know, the amount of views and the amount of responses. And I'm really happy that people enjoyed the content. And like I said, I'm trying to improve this uh, improve this uh, content creation. Although I can't say I'm really a content creator in this sense. I'm more of just trying to extend my forum posts via YouTube. That's kind of the way I'm doing this kind of stuff. But really, once again can't thank you guys enough the likes the subscribers you guys really uh you guys are really awesome that, that was really cool but uh we'll just get right back into it right here with the plane uh i might talk a little bit more later in detail about this aircraft but i'm gonna be right up front with the how to do this stuff so let's just go ahead and get into it i'll just go ahead and get a test light going and we'll jam it And I'm going to talk about the settings more in depth this time. Basically talk about what, you know, is needed control-wise in order to initiate the Cobra. So I'll go right ahead and go to controls. And right up here, we got controls mode right up here. I did this in some of the comments and all that, but this video will hopefully cover everything with regards to this stuff. So this option right here, toggle controls mode is the button that you want to program. It's unprogrammed in the game initially. I went right away and put it to tilde and I want to see if I can grab a window here quick. Let's see. Keyboard. Image. We'll grab this keyboard, you know. So this button right here is what I have it programmed to, just for reference on the keyboard. I don't have anything, you know, set up quick. Like I said, I'm trying to get this video out before they close the dev server. So this is tilde right here. So that's what I have it set to. So with tilde set, you get this thing where you can cycle the controls. So first you go into simplified, you know, after mouse control, of course, or mouse aim is what it's called. Then you go to control realistic, and then full control. And to do the maneuver in the J35, you only really need the last two, realistic and full. And, you know, I could go more into depth with this stuff, you know, or even people could even talk about it or ask about it in the comments, it's your call. But basically what the realistic control and the full real control allow is greater authority to basically tell the instructor up here to back off and you know give you more of the plane's authority and with all that you basically gain the authority to greatly pitch the aircraft and do these maneuvers and I only use it briefly when I do these maneuvers it's very very brief it's to get the control authority throw the angle of attack once I you know have done the instability with the maneuver my immediate thought is back to controlling the aircraft again, go back to mouse aim, and then bam, we're back to back to mama when it comes to control settings. Uh, really, there's nothing really much more beyond that. You know, it's a cyclical thing. You know, people asked about it. You know, is there a control that just takes me directly to it? I have not found anything, and as far as I know, you know, from digging all that stuff, I don't think it exists. It would be a great thing to add. You know, Gaijin, if you're listening or, you know, looking at this, I that would be a really cool thing to add. But we'll go ahead and get into it. So add power. The Draken takes off about 300-something kilometers per hour. Uh, this plane's mostly, I'd say mostly spaded. The one I flew before was actually stock for the J-35 and the, uh, the Cobra, or the Draken and the Cobra video. That was stock. And a lot of people asked about, you know, why aren't you ripping and all that, and I couldn't tell you. So 
So yeah. Just easy as that. So obviously go into the depth of it more. So obviously I get the speed up, go to full real control. And you can see, you know, I get 90 degrees to the earth. Or the nose again. Mouse aim. Bingo, we're back into flying again. We can gun up the guy who just went by us. So it's really that simple. Um, you can do the maneuver with realistic controls. I can demonstrate that here quick. You can see you get just as much authority, really. I will say, you know, they have been adding a little bit more instability to this aircraft in the rolling sense that I've seen. It really wants to roll over and tip over to the side, and that's kind of accurate. There's a little bit of rudder and elevator work, or sorry, uh, aileron work that you have to do to keep it balanced. And, yeah, that's basically what you do. So that's basically how you do the maneuver and all that, and how you initiate those controls. You can do that on the MiG-19 or the MiG-21. Someone even talked about it, the T2, in the uh, comment section. You're right, you know, T2 can do it. A lot of the stuff with the all-moving tails can do it, except, you know, not so much the stuff like the Sabres. The uh, F-86 can't really do it that well, and the F-100 is a little bit, a little bit heavy, but yeah, that's basically how you do it. Now, I haven't seen where this thing rips with regards to the performance, but that's basically all i got to say with regards to the Cobra. Now, I want to throw in some additional details here, you know, we can talk about. So I found out that this thing has a really good maneuverability pocket that it sits in. You know, it, it really turns really well about 300 kilometers an hour up to about 600, 650, you know, roughly around there. Once it goes above 650, it starts going into compressibility range, and that's where it starts running into the issues of, you know, not being able to turn well, really has a struggle, and that's probably where people were ripping, was it when it went above 700. You know, they just did such a hard maneuver on it, you know, it was going fast enough, or they were accelerating enough that, you know, it ripped them, it would rip the plane. I've not actually ripped the plane yet, and I think what they might have done this dev server, you know, this is being the second day. I think they buffed the airframe to give it greater rigidity against those things. I can't speak to if it improved the angle of attack. You know, at certain speeds, you just don't have enough uh, pitch capability to achieve the maneuver. So that's why you kind of sit in that 500 to 400, usually around the 300 mark. 400 is probably the sweet spot because you still have the energy to work with afterwards. But uh, it's interesting, I found out that with the air brakes deployed, it actually hurts your ability to do angle of attack with and without uh, full real control or realistic controls. So the air brake will actually hamper your ability to pitch. It's really interesting. Um, additionally, I'd probably say the hardest thing to do in this aircraft isn't the Cobra, but it is land. Because this plane is so finicky with its uh, ability to lift and all that. I will say it's really fascinating. The gear can be deployed at about 480 kilometers per hour, which is pretty, pretty impressive within the game. That's probably a benchmark speed that you can deploy at. Um, besides that, I'm really trying to think of what else there is to say about this aircraft. Um, ground attack wise, this aircraft is absolutely incredible. Uh, I was streaming on Twitch uh, the other day, or not the other day, you know, I was doing it a couple minutes ago, but, you know, it kind of felt like the other day, because we're past the 12-hour mark and all that, but, or midnight, but what I'm getting at is, this thing's ground attack capability is incredible, you know, in an realistic, you know, sense of the match, where you have the uh, rockets, we'll, we'll, go, we'll leave the uh, test flight to go see it. The uh, the 57B rockets, these things will take out pillboxes, but the way that they're aligned on the plane will we'll show it. The fact that they're so inlined on the aircraft gives an incredible accuracy. You can take out a pillbox 100% of the time almost. Like, you would have to really try to mess up upon, you know, trying to get this stuff. So, these are really good. I haven't really messed around with the penetrating rockets. I'm assuming they're the same kind of style of rocket, you know, accuracy-wise. 
Oh, never mind. Forget that. But these are the these are the big guys. Uh, I can't really give you a recommendation on these rockets, but you know, like I said, the other ones are great for taking out pillboxes. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I gotta say. It, I really love this jet. This is a lot of fun to fly, and uh, I hope you guys get your hands on it. This is definitely worth grinding for. I will say right now, I hope that they don't translate this to the actual server, but right now the repair costed throughout the wazoo, 66,000, and you know, it was like 50 something thousand, 56,000 stock. So keep in mind, you know, that's that's bad news bears if that's actually going to translate to the server. I, ho I hope it doesn't do that. You know, that that's not really a problem for me, but I know a lot of players can get really caught by the money when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I really hope they fix that. Uh, tail strikes got reduced a lot with landing as well. That's just another note. I can't really think of anything else to recommend or talk about this aircraft-wise attribute. It uh, it's really fun to fly. Um, if I wanted to compare this thing to a plane that's already in game for handling and how to engage targets with, the perfect aircraft I would probably call out is the Super Mystere. And the only difference between this and the Super Mystere. Uh, besides, you know, payload variation, is this thing is really good even when it's stock. The Super Mysterio is kind of a, you know, a bus when it's stock. It just doesn't accelerate well, and it just, it loses its speed really easily. This thing, uh, on the deck, I was, as a stock plane, I was getting Mach 1.15. 1 uh, 1 Outstanding speed. You know, and that's not even to talk about when it's spaded, you know, how fast it'll go. But once again, you know, dev server, take it with a grain of salt. But that's all I've got to say, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, the little technicality talk about how to do the Cobra, the controls, all that kind of stuff. Once again, thanks for uh, all your support and all the suggestions. I'm trying to improve the microphone, that's, you know, a top priority on the channel. And, uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say. Uh, take care, guys. Have a good one.